we've been recently watching Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Moon Girl Magic. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to hold you. As I told you before, it's very campy. It's fun. If you're a fan of Marvel, please watch it. Because <clears throat> coming from a person like me, I'm very particular with what I watch. I watched it and people felt the same way. It's surprisingly good. And especially for a cartoon. Like, what age range would you say that is? 8 to 12. Like I said, it's surprisingly good. And the main thing I like with it is, they take the character. She does what she does. She's a hero or whatever. In each episode, there is always a lesson for Ooh, the kids. I, that's what I, I love I, that part. I wanted you to hit on that, bro. Because that was one of the key parts that I went... Like, yes, it's campy. Yes, it's it's funny. It, it's, you know, you got your kiddish, ha ha, hee hee. But at, in every episode, at the end of the episode, there is a lesson to be learned. And it's, it, they're great lessons. Mm -hmm, great mm -hmm. lessons for children who are watching. And hey, even adults who might still suffer from these things that they haven't, you know. You don't talk. And for example, there's an episode on self-esteem. Mm. There was an episode about her hair. And Loving yourself, <laughs> and that was the common thing. It, it, it showed in it showed in the lessons of each episode. It's like it always came the back competitive to competitive episode when yeah. she's over competitive. Like loving yourself, taking it easy on yourself. Like I don't want to spoil it, you know what I mean? But yes, I highly suggest watching Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Moon Girl Magic. <laughs> you didn't know nothing. You know, you know. In the, the music. Great. The yes. scoring. The scoring everything, everything, is great. Everything, everything In great. one of the beginning episodes, she has a a rap battle with uh, no, the villain. <laughs> the villain. The villain she's fighting at the time. The and that that in particular, that tickled me. I like that a lot. That it was, was really legit cool. like like a, a, a like I felt like I was legit watching a rap battle. Mm -hmm. like, it, it was cool. It was cool. Oh, shout out to Lawrence Fishburne. What oh my god. Was it what is he? Uh, the Beyonder. The Beyonder. And also an executive producer <laughs> of the show. Yes, yes, yes. He actually did a great job. And the funny thing is, you hear it like when he's mm -hmm. acting, mm -hmm. when he's voice acting, I'm like, oh, that is Fishburne. As a matter of fact, after he shows up, he narrates a couple times in the later. He does, episode. he does, he does, That's he does. Dope. Like That's he, dope. he he'll show he showed up for an episode and then he'll I think either not the next one, but the one after that mm -hmm. one, two episodes after. He he showed up again to narrate the end of that episode. Mm -hmm. really cool. I think I think they should add that more because like I it's, it feels like they're putting one foot in one foot out and testing. I think they should keep him with the narration. That'd be cool. I mean, he has a great narrating voice, so I don't mm -hmm. see why not. But like we said, yeah, check out Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Awesome, great stuff.